one of my quad instructors, Jay Grimes, gave to me. It's a great homework assignment for pretty much anyone because it's about getting your back and shoulders strengthened so that when you do any kind of pull-ups or anything with the arms that you're not actually doing it from the upper traps, but rather you're doing it from the back connection. So all you do is you grab your short box and you place it in front of your Cadillac and then you place your arms up on this top rung. So you're gonna simulate a lat pull down if you're used to weights and you'll bend your knees to get your arms straight. And this is what typically happens. People end up like this. They don't have the ability to keep their shoulders on their back when they're holding up to their body weight. So with this exercise, you can use your legs a little bit, but you're gonna pull your arms, pull on your arms to get yourself up and connect to your back. And then you bend your knees and you try to keep that back connection as you straighten your arms. And then you pull. So the legs can help and you can use them as much as you need. But the goal is not to do it all from the legs because you've got to get those shoulders to connect onto your back. And then maybe after three or five, you're going to test how much you're actually getting your shoulders to connect to your back by simply lifting your knees up and not having that happen, right? So when you lift your knees up, nothing should change in the upper body. They should feel it come up. And I'll pull myself up. Just be mindful of those low ribs that tend to pop out when your shoulders go on your back. Because if you're muscling it, then the ribs will just push forward. But if you do it correctly, then your ribs will stay in and your knees can just simply come up. And then, you know, three to five of those every day. They'll be strong in the back and you can do any Pilates exercise that you're asked to do. I'm Asa Logan. Thank you for watching.